In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May our Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We're here today for the Wednesday of the second week of Easter, making our way through the 50 days of Easter up to Pentecost. Hopefully by Pentecost, pray God, maybe, maybe, maybe not, we'd be back in church in some form or fashion. There's a good intention for which to pray at this and every Mass. Let us all call to mind our sins. Lord Jesus, teach us to pray as you did. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Give us today our daily bread. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Forgive us our sins as we forgive one another. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sin and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. As we pray, O oh God, year by year, the mysteries by which, through the restoration of its original dignity, human nature has received the hope of rising again. We earnestly beseech your mercy, Lord, that what we celebrate in faith, we may possess in unending love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. The high priest rose up and all his companions, that is, the party of the Sadducees, and filled with jealousy, laid hands upon the apostles and put them in the public jail. But during the night, the angel of the Lord opened the doors of the prison, led them out and said, Go and take your place in the temple area and tell the people everything about this life. When they heard this, they went to the temple early in the morning and taught. When the high priest and his companions arrived, they convened in Sanhedrin, the full center of the children of Israel, and sent to the jail to have them brought in. But the court officers who went did not find them in the prison. So they came back and reported, We found the jail secret, securely locked and the guards stationed outside the doors. But when we opened them, we found no one inside. When the captain of the temple guard and the chief priests heard this report, they were at a loss about them as to what this would come to. And someone came in and reported to them, men whom you put in the prison are in the temple area and are teaching the people. Then the captain and the court officers went and brought them, but without force, because they were afraid of being stoned by the people. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will bless the Lord at all times. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be ever in my mouth. Let my soul glory in the Lord. Let lowly will hear me and be glad. Bless the Lord my soul. Bless the Lord my soul. Glorify the Lord with me. Let us together extol his name. I sought the Lord and he answered me and he delivered me from all my fears. Look bless the Lord my soul. Look to whom that you may radiant with joy and your faces may not blush with shame. When the poor one called out, the Lord heard, and from all his distress he saved him. Bless the Lord, my soul. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him and delivers them. Taste and see how good the Lord is. Bless the man who takes refuge in him. Bless the Lord, my soul. May the Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, so that whoever believes in him may not perish but might have eternal life. God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned, but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. This is the verdict. Light came into the world. People preferred darkness to light, because their works were evil. Everyone who does wicked things hates the light, does not come towards the light, so that his works might not be exposed. But whoever lives the truth comes to the light, that his works may be clearly seen as done in God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. So, my friends, at some point you think they'll figure it out. As Jake read for us, the high priest, all his companions, all the Sadducees, they figure, well, we'll shut this guy Jesus up. We'll put him to death, a shameful death, bury him in the ground, and we'll never hear his name again. Beginning on Easter Sunday, that's all they've heard about. You can't 
bury God. So then Peter and John come along. Well, here's what these guys, you can't shut them up. They refuse to shut up. So we'll throw them in jail. Lock the door, throw away the key. That'll shut them up. Well, the next morning, they, they get a report. Those guys you threw in jail, they're out preaching right now, and they're, they're really making some converts. You, you, you better do something about them. You, you can put people in jail. You can throw away the key, forget the combination, and put double chains on the doors. But you, you can't stop the new life of Easter Sunday, as, as Jake read for us early there. They, you please stop talking about this life. You can't stop talking about this life. They tried to kill Jesus, they tried to imprison, and they will eventually martyr all the apostles. You, you can't stop the Word of God, because it's God's Word, and this new life of Easter Sunday, is, is, it's endless. It is a, it's like us trying to stop this virus. It's just, it's hard to do. And the Word of God, you can't stop. Because you're fighting God. Those who fight God always lose. Had they been smart, they would have said, hmm, if we, if we can't beat them, why don't we join them? And some did. Some still are. We pray for those who haven't yet realized that this new life, this life of hope and eternal life, will give us a joy in this world and the next that nothing can equal. A good time to start is always now. Let us stand, my friends, and allow for our petitions to Almighty God. We pray as always for our church, Holy Father, bishops, pastors, priests who ask and need our prayers. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For those in the healing work of medicine, and religion, dealing with those suffering from the virus, those suffering from the virus, who pray for healing, for patience, for hope. For all these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all our young people displaced from school, from activities that make being young so special, proms, graduation, that all of them will find peace, even in the face of disorder and uncertainty. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. prayer. For all our sick that wish us to be able to anoint them who we cannot touch yet, at least not physically, that they will know the healing power of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all our deceased, all those gone before us, all those gone before us because of the virus. And this liturgy in particular, we call Patricia Coggins, that all our deceased will have rest and peace in heaven, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. My friends, our own intentions in silence. Lord God, your grace, your life is an unstoppable force that brings us joy, peace, and hope. As the apostles preached the new life of the resurrected Jesus, help us to preach Jesus Christ, to evangelize him, to bring others who know him not yet to know him soon. We make all our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all the Holy Church. O God, who by this wonderful exchange effected in this sacrifice have made us partakers of the one supreme Godhead, grant, we pray, that as we come to know your truth, we may make it ours by a worthy way of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up, the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right. Yes. It is truly right and just our duty, our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, the Easter season, above all to laud you yet more gloriously. For Christ our Passover has been sacrificed.
Through him the children of light rise to eternal life. The halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. His death is our ransom from death. And in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Easter joy, every land, every people, exult in your praise. Even the heavenly powers with the angels praise you. May our voices blend with theirs as we say, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body, the blood, of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread. Giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper ended to your chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity with Francis, our Pope. Joseph, our bishop, all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. We praise you and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Together we pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ever evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, peace I give you, but not in our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace in the Lord be with you always. With you. We share some sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Jake will now read us our daily prayer in this time of unusual strife, distress, pain, suffering, and uncertainty. Jake. For all who have contracted coronavirus, we pray for care and healing. For those who are particularly, particularly vulnerable, we pray for safety and protection. For all who experience fear or anxiety, we pray for peace of mind and spirit. For affected families who are facing difficult decisions between food on the table or public safety, we pray for policies that recognize their plight. For those who do not have adequate health insurance, we pray that no family will face financial burdens alone. For those who are afraid to access care due to immigration status, we pray for recognition of God-given dignity of all. For all brothers and sisters around the world, we pray for shared solidarity. For public officials and decision makers, we pray for wisdom and guidance. Father, during this time, may your church be a sign of hope, comfort, and love to all. Grant peace, comfort, healing. Be with us, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jake. And that might be about the most down-to-earth prayer I've ever heard in a Catholic ceremony. We have people standing in food lines who never thought they would be relying on other people to give them food to eat today because they don't know where their next meal is coming from, because they don't know where their next paycheck is coming from. They don't know if the next paycheck is coming. We live in such difficult times. With the help of God, and I think only with the help of God, we can survive this difficult time until life gets back to some semblance of normal, whatever that may look like, whenever it may come. Let us pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord. Lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be with you. Mighty God bless us, our families, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our liturgy ends, we go in peace, glorifying God with our lives. Thanks be to God.